Check this out. So Altuve and Correa, the Astros, great, right? I mean, as good as it gets as a one-two punch in the middle of the order. And now, obviously, the Yankees have Judge and Stanton. So let's play a little uh, rotisserie fun, Frank Thomas. <laughs> you had to have one of those combos. You can only pick one. Which one are you taking? Yeah, that's, that's killing me, man. You know that's killing me. The flopper is like, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go with the big men. Of, Why? of course he's going with the big men. Why? Man. I'm going to go with the two big giants because they're always in scoring position. They can win you a, a, a game, any pitch. That's why I'm going to go with Judge and Stanton. It's not because the other two are great, because Carrera can do the same thing, but he's still a hitter to a 300 guy. Uh, Altuve just, you know, 200 something hits every year. Very special talent. But when you got two giants like this that can leave the ballpark at any pitch, right. I got to go with those guys. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm going with the Houston Astros, boys. I'm telling you. We got the MVP. I mean, Carlos Correa missed how many, 50 games last year, and they still had more hits than Judge and Stanton combined. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, those two combinations, even uh, Arenado and Blackman in Colorado could rival these guys. But I'm telling you right now, Bad runners in scoring position since 2017. Altuve and Carrera are hitting it a 320 clip, brother. Judge and Stanton, 256. It doesn't matter about the average. It's about the damage. 250 RBIs with two guys in one season. That's what you're looking at with the big man in New York. <laughs> it does sound good. There. <laughs> it does sound good. How do you That's fight that, at. man? How do you fight That's that? what you're looking at. That's I mean, doing damage. You think the Hall of Famer's got over 500 home runs? going to pick the guys not hitting the home runs? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm looking at the stats just like everybody else is. It's like... It, it, you're comparing apples to apples Switch. right there. I mean, you're talking Just about the best. Just remember this. A famous commercial told me once, chicks dig the long ball. You're right. <laughs> hey, it's true. Don't forget He's it. right. I, don't, I can't even compare. You, you win this one. <laughs> oh, you got me on that. gosh. Anybody, uh, anybody else in the major leagues lead their team in wins and homers? The answer is <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Show, hey, the next Babe Ruth. Well, the, the interesting thing is, though, um, we were talking, just kind of musing, talking ball before, and, and, and I don't remember who brought it. It might have been you, Swish. Does he take some pressure off of Mike Trout? I mean, just, just oh, his yeah, presence? Man. Big time. I mean, we've talked about it before. I mean, Mike Trout could be the most recognizable face in Major League Baseball, but Mike Trout doesn't want that. He doesn't mind kind of being under the radar. And with Shohei Otani being, I guess, the new shiny toy, I guess, in a way, taking some heat off of him, Albert Pujols looks absolutely phenomenal this year. Justin Upton doing his thing. I'm telling you, man, the Anaheim Angels, they got a shot, and Mike Trout will win his 5 to 10 MVPs and go on and live his rich, expensive life or whatever he wants to live, uh, and, and he'll be fine with that. That's just his personality. You think about this. He's in Tinseltown. And you don't see him all over commercials. You don't see him all over America on TV. You're right. He goes about his, his work. He works hard. Yeah. Go out and provide what he provides every year. He goes home and spends time with his family. Yep. He's, a, he's a special guy, and that's his personality. So nothing wrong with that. Might be, uh, might be seeing uh, an Otani billboard in the OC sometime, Frank. <laughs> hey, <keep laughs> Real up, quick. Keeps up this. Uh, he's uh, pitching, by the way, Sunday in Anaheim. Uh, buy your tickets now. That's what we got. I believe it is now time for the final pitch, and I was told to throw it to a tape. Oh, oh. man. What? Gotta get it. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. Turn hey. back the clock. Woo! Give, hey, give that run in there, Frank. It's, that it's Friday night. It's Friday night. night. Watch hey, out. Give that. Give that. KB? It's Friday night, Big Hurt. <laughs> you know what happens. You know. Frank's Big feeling good, man. It, it feels good. Frank Thomas. Nick Big Hurt. Fisher. I'm Kevin Burkhart. Thanks for watching us. See you tomorrow from well, baseball. Come on back. Get it, Big Hurt. <laughs>